Hello! In this video I'm gonna demonstrate springs in Algodoo. I'm gonna start off by creating a weight and suspend it in a spring and then I'm gonna stretch this spring and see what happens when I press play. Well we see it moving up and down until it reaches an equilibrium. That's fine. Uh, but we can also change the properties of a spring by right clicking it. One, the first setting here is the spring constant which is the strength of the spring. So if you have a low number here, the spring will stretch down by the force of gravity. And even without gravity, it will move very slowly because there's a very small force acting on this weight. But if I increase this, well, we get a quicker movement, uh, a quicker and a stronger force restores to, it, to its equilibrium. Uh, let's pause this for a moment, stretch it again, and set the spring constant to well, whatever. Uh, and now I'm going to demonstrate what damping is. But before I do that, I want to clone this uh, setup. So I have force weights in springs. So I'll drag the clone button to clone it. Or to clone quicker, you can just press down the control button on your keyboard and drag the object and you'll get a clone. So now I'm going to set all these four springs to different dampings. The left one I'm going to turn off damping completely. The second uh, spring will have the default damping. And the third spring will be critically damped. Now the way to set that in Algodoo is by setting the slider to 1.0. This uh, slider is in fact amounts of critical damping. Now if you don't know what critical damping is, that's okay. I'm going to show you in just a second. This right spring will be overdamped. It will be super critically damped. So if I press play now, you see that these two move to equilibrium pretty quickly. The critically damped quickest, while the second defaultly uh, damped spring will oscillate a few times and then reach equilibrium. The left undamped spring will just keep bobbing up and down forever without losing energy, except of course for air friction, which you can turn off if you want to. Now, once again, keep, keep these two in, in, uh, in line on your site. You'll see that the critically damped returns quickly to equilibrium and the supercritically slightly slower. Or we can inspect it even more by having even our higher damping. Now the slider only goes to two, but we can enter any value here. So we can have it five times the critical damping and we'll see moving even slower. Now critical damping is so called because it has the exact damping needed to bring it as quickly as possible to equilibrium, but not quicker. And by not quicker, I mean if we have something uh, below the critical damping, we'll see it overshoot before returning back. So the critical damping is very important for designing, for instance, the damping in cars and so on, because we don't want it bouncing up and down, and we don't want the stiff slowness of a super critical damped spring either. Uh, so that springs in Algidoo